Good morning, guys. What's going on? Lawson here. Got wonderful girlfriend Alyssa with me this morning, and we are going to try to go catch some redfish and trout, hopefully, you know. In the area I live in, there's just not very many of them at all, and there's very, very few locations where you can actually target them, and when you try to target them, it's a very, very slim chance, but we're going to see if we can put our uh, hat in the ring anyway and see if we can catch some this morning, you know. It's just going to be throwing artificial shrimp, maybe start off with some small top waters, but we'll see if we can hook up with some. I'm, I'd be hopeful, you know, even if it's just one or two redfish or maybe a couple trout, that'd be awesome. But we're going to see if we can get on some this morning and do something a little different than typical snook and jack fishing that they have in the main river. But we're going to see if we can find some trouts and reds this morning. We'll see. All right, we have arrived at our spot where we're finally going to start fishing. We've probably been on the water for a while, but it's just finally getting light enough to fish. Um, I'm going to start throwing a top water that I have stuck in my pants. There we go. Top water right there. And Alyssa's going to be throwing a little DOA cow, just a little three inch swim bait. We're actually, this is where Alyssa caught her uh, PB snook that I think was like, what, 38 inches, right? 38 inches she caught up here. So we're going to see if hook up with another big snook, maybe some reds, some trout. We're gonna see what's biting. Hopefully we can have some trout and reds though, cause that is the goal for the morning, but could be some big snook around too. Oh crap, what the freak is that? Oh! Come on. Throw yours up in there. I don't know why they, they swung and missed. eat it dude he's just missing it see he's going right if you want to throw see, he's to the right coming at us good cast i uh, i guess they're jack i mean they could be redfish but i'm assuming they're jack oh my gosh there's one on this buoy right here let's triple down on this buoy you see him He's right against the buoy. He's went down at it. Come on, eat it, eat it, eat it. He's chasing it. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. Dude, I'm hard as rushing right now. Oh, he swung at it and he didn't get it. I might need to put a smaller shrimp on it, honestly. Oh, 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 no. Good lord. I'm going to change up to a smaller shrimp. Alright, so that triple tail, I mean, he just, I struck a little early on him, but he's only probably about a 15 inch triple tail. And I'm throwing a, about a four inch shrimp and he was just having trouble eating it. And he finally ate the thing. And when I said it, you know, you could hear my dragon gauge, like he hit it and he was kind of hooked up, but he just shook and came off. So I don't know if he'll eat again, but I mean, we'll keep working these buoys, but you know, it's funny. I was just saying to Alyssa, we didn't have the cameras on or anything. I was like, this might just be a huge waste of time. I don't know if we're really going to find a triple tail sitting on here. And then literally the next buoy we pulled up to, there's one sitting on it. Hopefully there'll be more, or maybe this guy will come back. I don't know, triple tail, they can be actually pretty forgiving fish, but we'll see. Oh, he's still on here. Yeah, he's still here. He's still here. And he's going down at it right now. On, on. Yes! Alyssa, you want to take him? You've never caught one? Sure. Alright, Alyssa's going to take over because she's never caught a triple tail before. Just real? Just real? I mean, just fight him like a fish. He might jump, he might dive. They, they do weird things. Can you land him? I will land him, yeah. Look at him. Oh, you're good. I'm going to put the camera down and I'll land him. You know what's funny? I thought about bringing a net today too. Triple tail has the meanest fins of all time. Woo! Awesome. Good job, Wes. Um, there is a inshore triple tail right there. He is beautiful. He's probably a keeper size, but we're not going to keep him. We're going to let him go. I know that I've probably hurt a lot of your guys' feelings, but that is insane. That is so cool. I mean, look at him choke the shrimp. 
And that's what I was saying. These are just such forgiving fish. And obviously, for you guys up north and never heard of these, this is why they call it triple tail right there. Big tail fin, big dorsal, big extended lobe fin right there. Three tails. These things are armed to the teeth. They have a mean, mean dorsal ridge. Their gill plates are razor, razor sharp. They got a mean anal fin right there. Everything on these fish are designed to poke the crap out of anything that tries to eat them. And they just suspend along buoys and pilings. They're a pelagic fish actually, but they'll come in shore. And that's a result of that right there. It's very cool. We're gonna snap a few pictures of Alyssa with her triple tail. Let them go. Well, there you go. Bad triple. <laughs> Alyssa is saying she didn't believe me that we're gonna catch a triple tail off these buoys. No. Oh, we did. <laughs> All right, so I'll be honest. Our intention today, you know, you heard us, we said we wanna go after trout and redfish, and we were just kinda of drifting this flat, and I saw some buoys, and I said to Alyssa, you know, I wanted to throw these buoys and see if there's triple tail on them, and she was like, yeah, sure, just kinda of humoring me, cause she didn't really think there would be, and I wasn't really all that convinced either. But, you know, now that we've caught one off of it, I think that's what we're gonna roll with today now, it's just gonna be, we're gonna hop between buoys and see if we can catch some triple tail, maybe catch one or two more. That would be a very, very awesome day. They are very fun to catch, very cool. So we're gonna see if we can catch a few more. All right, so Alyssa and I, we're going to keep, you know, searching for this triple tail. But in the meantime, essentially what we're going to do, we're going to work along a dock line and we're going to work the docks. And then whenever there's a crab trap, we're going to swing out, hit the trap and then swing back in and keep working the dock line. So we're going to do a little bit of both. Go for some snook and go for some triples kind of at the same time. It has at least one. Oh, snook again. Dude, some aerial snookage going on here. Whoa, homie. guy's digging he's not even a big snook he's just like giving me a really hard time All right, that is first snook of the day. Just probably a little 20, 23 to 24 inch snook right there. I mean, he thumped it really good. I mean, you guys know I, I love fishing docks for snook, but it's pretty much we're doing this kind of as an in-between while we look for those triple tails still. But he's a beautiful little snook, put up a great fight. We're gonna release him and uh, keep working. So we're, we're just fishing this dock line right here. You know, we've been fishing the buoys and you saw we caught a triple tail and a snook, but we're fishing this dock and I'm sitting here looking at this dock and I can see something hanging off the piling and I'm like, is that seaweed? It's another triple tail on this piling over here. It'll be the second one of the day where I'm really hoping we can hook up with it. I'm, you can tell I'm kind of freaking out right now. So hopefully we can hook up with it. We're just gonna pitch this shrimp right up in there and see if we'll munch it. Like, I don't know how to throw at him. His head's against the piling here. We found the triple tail again. He spooked off for a second. I cannot make a good cast. He spooked for a second, but then he moved right back over to another piling here. This is it. He swung at it, but he didn't get grab it. This one's being shy. weird man that the first one we caught i literally hooked the first one that we caught this morning and then threw back again and hooked them again and caught them and this one has swung at it never even touched the bait though never bit but i saw him swing at it and he is spooked you know he started off of the front piling he's moved to the back and we've kind of just been hopping around looking for him but this one's being really really skittish i don't know if he can see us or what but you know it's weird where the first one literally was so you know like i said earlier so forgiving and this one's being a jerk 
Alright, one of those moments where I'm going through editing and rather than never filmed an outro for this day, fishing with Alyssa and myself. You know, this day we started out fishing for redfish and trout and, you know, I just really wanted to do something different and we ended up doing something very, very different, which I really enjoyed, but it was not what I expected at all, you know. We were just fishing the flats and the whole morning was really slow. You saw I got followed up by something pretty big on a swim bait a couple times, a very, very large fish. But nothing really connected, and we came up to this buoy, just this big line. There's probably about 20 buoys in a line. And so, you know, I told Alyssa, you know, let's just flip it and see if there's any fish around. You know, maybe, maybe there's a triple tail sitting on one of these, kind of a what if kind of thing. And so we pull up and we fish probably eight of them, and then one of them is just, I see something sitting on it, and you know, I'm trying not to get overexcited because I think, you know, it might just be seaweed wrapped around it or algae or growth or something. But then I throw up there and I see it move and I'm like, this is triple tail, man. And we, we catch that fish and then we're cruising along, you know, catch a snook and then keep going. And there's another triple tail, but this time it's on a dock. And, you know, this one, the piling, it's kind of hard to see in the video. The piling is like this and his head was just glued right against the piling. And so like on the back corner of it so you know i couldn't really throw in front of them because you know no matter what angle i kind of hit it from it seemed i was going to be either snag the pilot or go right across of them and maybe scare them and he wouldn't really see it you know and finally i just decided to throw right on top of them because i couldn't get to him any other way without presenting it poorly and so i just threw right on top of him and he kind of looked at it and spooked off and then you know like I said in the video, we kind of cruised around the dock a little longer, and there he was. He popped up again, just on a different piling further down the dock. And so, you know, I throw up at him a few times up there, and I see him follow it down to the bottom, but he never hits it or never thumps it. You know, I throw a few more times, and finally the triple tail just swims off. But it would have been awesome to catch him, but that was cool, you know? Like, I don't ever get to fish for triple tail, you know, fishing inshore. It's just not something I get to do very often. But that was really cool, and it was a very cool change of pace for the day to be able to go out and target triple tail. I mean, not even target triple tail, but, you know, it turned into a day fishing for them. And that was really cool, and that makes me pumped that maybe I can go out tomorrow or another day and actually effectively target them now that I know what I'm dealing with and where to look for them. But I had fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Till next time, see ya. I'm not going to do a John B. fist bump, but see ya.